Rajit is saying, if this is all a dream, isn't the idea of self-awareness for this dreamer character also part of the dream? Very good question. Yes. The awareness is the only event in this dream which brings you out of the dream. That is why it is important. All other events, all, all that happens in the dream, they will take you into the dream. They will engage you. Only the self-realization and remembering it will take you out of the dream. That is why it has a special importance although it is totally part of the dream. It is like the thorn that removes the thorn that is stuck in your hand and then you throw all the, <laughs> those thorns. Or it is the boat that you use to cross the river then you leave the boat. Things like that you see. Metaphors are given. So what is the use of awareness? Come out of the dream. Then is there a real need to be aware? No, not at all. I think it was Ram Krishna Paramhans or somebody. I don't remember the story now. But uh, somebody came and said, I can't remember that I am the self all the time. And he said, don't worry, even I, I cannot remember <laughs> that I am the self all the time. So he said, but you are the Paramhans. Is it even possible for you to forget? And he said, no, it's not possible. That does not mean that like a stupid, I'll keep repeating it, that I am the self. You see the simplicity of this person. The awareness has to be very natural. Like, how do you remember your name? And you will say yes. How many times you repeat your name every day? No need. No need. It comes when it is necessary. So if somebody asks you to write down your name, <laughs> you don't have any problems. There it is. Same way. Do you remember your boy or girl? You're a man or a woman? How many times you check it? So, same. Know that you are the self, which means you are the experiencer. Know it well. Clear all your doubts. Check it again. But there's no need to be mad after that. Is there a need to be mad? Initially, we put a lot of stress on this. Be aware. Be aware. Don't lose it. Don't then you need to simply let go and relax. Why? Because <laughs> it's not really important from the perspective of the dream. Not really important. And the knowledge and the ignorance is made same. The true and the false is made same. The victory and the defeat is same. The birth and the death is same. And the rebirth and re the death, no problem at all. So initially, just to put the student on the track, we put a lot of intensity behind it. I said, no, no matter what, you need to be aware. And once the student is trained for it, then you don't need to tell him or her. It is like learning to drive the car. The instructor will say, brake, 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 stop, stop. You are going to turn the stop now. Slow down, slow down. But do you need the instruction, the instructor there all your life telling this to you while you drive? Do you need him there? No, once you learn it, you learn it. Now it will happen spontaneously. This is the idea. So that is why it is called awareness experiment. I don't even call it practice. Because people will think I need to do it whole life. But sometimes I say, no, no, you will need to do it whole, your, whole of your life. And they get tense by that. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you told me there are no practices. But the practice becomes automatic after some years. Yes, uh, it takes years, many years. We have no hurry given the knowledge. If it, even if it takes two or three lifetimes, the pers the seeker on the path of knowledge has no concern. It's totally careless. Who is concerned about, I am not achieving, I am not achieving. There is some, some worldly virus remained in the mind. <laughs> because the world is all about achieving, isn't it? So... Some seekers may think that, you see, awareness, I need to achieve the awareness. No, there's no need to achieve anything. Just let go of your ignorance. Be careless. The existence has, is completely okay with not being aware or being ignorant, being in darkness. It's completely okay. Because there is a knowledge probably there that it is a dual thing. If there is awareness somewhere, there will be an awareness somewhere. If there is knowledge somewhere, there will be ignorance somewhere. And that cannot be avoided. So, knowing that it is a play, we play. We play this game and do not worry too much if there is no awareness. <laughs> Embrace it as soon as it comes. Just prefer it more than others, you see.
other activities because what the awareness is also activity mental activity only it's a layer and who knows what happens after significant amount of evolution who knows what happens to this layer it becomes unimportant i think why do you recommend it because you are suffering if there is no suffering we recommend nothing don't even get the knowledge we say probably it, <laughs> it will stop your happiness when you come to know that all your money and all your girls and all your uh, pets dogs <laughs> cats all the animals that you are surrounded by they are unreal so we we'll let that person enjoy for a while as soon as we see the suffering we intervene give them the knowledge now enjoy again you see don't worry about you know do i need to be aware if if you are not suffering let go of awareness and all these practices experiments it's, it's all good then and your end of suffering will not be like a party that happens for whole day and whole night all year no it will be like a peace blissful non happening now the ego will say i don't want this <laughs> i'm happy with the party and the drama don't worry that will also continue in this background of peace and bliss the ego does not know it so it panics but the party continues it is seen as moving pictures enjoy it complete bliss you will not become happy and you will not become sad you will become peaceful and you will become blissful because this is a good kind of peace this is the non dual peace which never goes away even when it looks like that it is gone away it is simply there as a background your attention has shifted the attention has gone away not the peace know this much and then dive into the world <laughs> there, is, there is nothing bad in the world isn't it what is bad in the world ignorance of it is suffering due to that the world is not bad the illusion is not bad maya is good maya is me only i am the illusion also now don't be partial be impartial so in buddhism this is called you know coming back to the marketplace or something like this <laughs> you tired of the marketplace too noisy you go away for some time then you come back because there is there is nothing else than the illusion there is no where to go there is no other reality where you can be blissful and please peaceful no it is here and now in this battle ground or whatever you call it a movie dramatic movie there is the peace there is the bliss sansar is the nirvana there is no other place which is called nirvana so nothing changes because nothing needs to change isn't it what needs to change is you that is simply your attitude that's all this knowledge is not too big the ignorance that you are holding is too big <laughs> drop it simple change you can see there is extreme carelessness here extreme amount of carelessness extreme amount of aimlessness my aim is to become aimless so this there is nothing apart from the dream and it is wise to accept this continue never worry about awareness or anything knowledge or the oh, i am not experiencer today don't worry <laughs> it's not possible you are the experiencer today you are the ex- you were the experiencer yesterday and you will be who cares this carelessness will bring smile on your face all the time whenever you are frowning whenever you are crying no problem it's all okay because it comes and goes and when it goes you laugh at yourself oh that also happens A very strange kind of state is this and this is what i called total surrender the path of knowledge does not end in knowledge it ends in surrender it does not end in freedom from the dream it ends in surrendering to the dream see how amazing this is how beautiful this is you can surrender right now also isn't it without this mumbo jumbo of knowledge but you don't do it <laughs> you don't do it that's why we need to do all kinds of arrangements to bring you to the surrender and after the surrender arrives you think that i should have done this long ago why didn't i do this so it is all purification isn't it this is a process of purification knowledge is also a purification of ignorance that's all it is you are not going to become big you are not going to become wise you are not going to become a guru or something like this you will become small you will become humble you will become nobody you will have nothing to do no aims 
no goals you don't worry about what is true also and you don't worry about what is false also there are some people who will stop one step before this happens and they are called the bodhisattvas they say i know you know there is nothing to do here knowing this fully i'll do that which i think is necessary they they knowingly don't take the final step fully knowing that there is no final step you know what i mean that being the bodhisattva is also final step they know they say it like this this is also part of the surrender they will say so they remain back and they adopt the true and false and they adopt the knowledge and ignorance and they take the birth and death you know, whatever form they want extremely powerful people and they teach this is called the bodhisattva tendency and many people have this tendency so from the ultimate point of view there's no difference between some somebody who has completely dissolved gone gone forever and bodhisattva no difference at all that is what i could understand because the advait people have this objection no who are you going to liberate is there anybody who are you going to and and this you know wherever this bodhisattva word comes in the scriptures it is clearly written that in liberating everyone i know that no one is liberated something like this written there <laughs> it is shocking isn't it is it they saying will they again start from scratch as ignorant they will do whatever is necessary you see probably will never understand it is extreme kind of play yes extreme kind of play like we are playing a small play of being aware here and there you know playing with this dreams and states and so on they are playing with the whole illusion too powerful for them coming back as ignorant peanuts probably they are they are already having a thousand incarnations in all parts of the illusion so that is one way to spend the eternity some people object that look he is too attached to the individuality bodhisattva me so says that i am going to do this isn't it but no hardly any individual there the individual appears if it is necessary they are beyond all individuality already so i cannot call them he or she or they nothing that is what why it was called bodhisat bodhi means knowledge sattva means essence does not mean a person or a title <laughs> it's not a degree so very similar to guru field you see very similar similar sattvic saying avatars no no avatars are tiny tiny compared to bodhisat you know the job of the avatar is maintenance of the illusion the job of the bodhisat is to is to show the illusion is to make the illusion naked in front of seekers is it true nature cannot be shown but illusion can be shown look this is illusion what is the job of the avatar is to maintain clean it up sometimes it goes wrong and some something appears here all the all the cleaning process is going on without a human form also but sometimes the human form becomes important because only human form can leave a teaching behind and as you know the avatars are completely ineffective they are like a maintenance process in the universal memory so we know the major ones we don't know the minor ones the minor ones come and cause one or two wars or something and they disappear so why does the universal memory need to come as a human to do this and nobody understands this that is why we call it as leela play it is playful so today i am going to take a human form to clean up something probably i'll teach this idiots here what is what is the proper way to live what is knowledge and all so it's it's a play for it it can simply sit there and hold the thought in its mind and everything can be cleaned like this but that is now not how it works i have seen it respects its own rules the universal memory has to respect its own rules whatever we call as the rules of the memory laws of the mind so i don't claim to understand all these things because then there are no questions i am just drifting away in this topic from the point of view of our ego there is a long boring eternity in front of us emptiness that's what the ego can imagine isn't it but no this thing appears in so many forms so many ways in finite which we cannot comprehend which we never experienced so far we have heard some stories and that also very limited we have not heard all the stories also 
So if you have a doubt that you see it's going to become boring after self-realization, probably for some time it may look like you know, nothing is there to do. But the real spiritual life starts after graduation. Just like a student can think that my school is over now, my college is going to be over now, all the fun will disappear which I had in the college. But no, the real fun begins as soon as you start searching for a job. <laughs> Then, you know, that is the real fun. Challenges, all the struggle, all the running after money and power and skills, promotions, all the good and evil things you do to launch your business, become successful there and so on. That is the real play. Now, do you think at the time that, let me go back to the school, that was much more you know, fun than this one. No, you will never say like this. So those who are seeking, those who are trying to get the knowledge, they are like school children. And they think that oh, it will be boring life, life after the school. But it is not like this. It is our ignorance only. We think like this. Some seekers come to me, they say, What will I do if it gets liberated, you see? You, you are saying that nothing remains in the causal body and what is the fun in that? So I say, you will never know right now. <laughs> you are too little to know all these things. Do that which the Guru told you. Get yourself liberated, finish your you know, suffering. Don't, don't let your mind decide here. The mind knows nothing. The individual knows nothing about these things. That's why we call it spiritual. It is not something which you will know. Just like the child in the nursery school does not know that why he is being forced into the nursery school. He wants to play at home but parents are sending him to the school. He has no clue why this needs to be done. Same way, we have no clue why we need to get the knowledge, drop the ignorance, live a spiritual life. We have no clue. So here a little bit of faith, surrender should be there. You, you, you recognize the importance of it. And then you don't doubt it. Let the mind say whatever it wants to say. Like I say, when, once you enter the spiritual path, only good can happen. Whatever looks like something, is, something bad has happened is also good. <laughs> the only bad thing that, that can happen is you leaving the spiritual path. I am not even talking about the path of knowledge. If you don't like it, leave it. Don't leave all of it. Join some other guru, join some other path, no problem at all. That is the only bad thing that can happen is relapsing into the world without getting the knowledge.